welcome to Lake the Show. I'm your host, Prophet 74. Today we're gonna bring a, the original mini PC. It's called the Z Box, it's Q series. So we're gonna find out why I'm actually talking about it because if you guys are in, in the market for a cheap, inaffordable, unaffordable <laughs> inexpensive uh very affordable machine this is probably the machine for you if you want to play PUBG, you know call of duty battlefield and stuff so forth this machine might be the one that you're looking on the market you know how they very expensive video cards are coming out well this one has everything all built in one so today what we're going to do is we're going to open the box we're going to open what's the hardware behind it and then if you guys decide i'll do another video on it and see more of the gaming more of the benchmark more of that stuff so today is just to open box and find out what's under the hood so let's check it out so pretty much when you open it up it comes sealed this is the power supply we're not going to even take it out they give you a little antenna for it power adapter for the power supply it's a big box so we're gonna move this aside manual CDs CDs yeah manual and a CDs for drivers who needs CDs these days you know we'll put that aside and the piece of resistance we're gonna take this out oh it's a little heavy move the box to the side now I'm gonna talk a little bit about this series, all right? It's called the Q7P3000, all right? It's a Q series, so um, Z-Box, if you guys never heard of it, you know, maybe this is your first time, you're in the right place. So let's go ahead and open it up, unseal this sucker and bad boy, and see what you get when you purchase this stuff. Uh, mini PC, but in reality, it's a little bulkier than I expected. It looks like a, a little smaller version of an Xbox. Um, in front of it, if you guys see it, right in front of it, power big power button here uh this is a probably a um ir um connection maybe for wireless uh it has the sd card reader in here a usb 3.1 usb audio for mic and audio for headset and a usb type c right in the front of it so that's not bad they give you that out the, there's nothing on the side here um in the back of it oh in the back of it, it's loaded and they're all well marked right so right here in the back, they give you USB 2.0, 2.0, 3.0, 3.0. Uh, right here, display port, display port, HDMI, HDMI, um, two different accessories, NIC cards, and a wireless, of course, built in here. This off the bat looks to be an awesome machine. So this has an NVIDIA Quadro card, all right, built in here. Uh, it has a 4K space, you know, it's 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 wireless, USB compatibilities are off the hook. 7th generation Intel 7th chip, we're going to take a look at it, we're going to open it up right now, and it's very simple to open it up. We're just going to remove these screws out of the way here, and we're going to see what's under the hood. That's pretty much what I like to do, just check everything under the hood. So now that I removed the, the front, the panel, it's basically, I think it's just a pull away, but... Yep, there you go. It's on the bottom of it, and we're gonna see what's under the hood. This is copper. It's, I guess, to maintain some of the uh, heat in there. You know, make sure that it cools the system down. It's all copper based on the on back of it. It's a unique little setup. I mean, I've never seen this before. Um, it's painted in there. And you can tell it's painted. It's not metal, but it's painted mixed with copper, I guess. And you can see the reflection of it, metal color, which is not bad. Now. Here off the bat, they give you a slot just for an ex an extension of, a, of another hard drive. You could add a 2.3 hard drive in here, a SATA drive, SSD drive in here. The mini PC card for the wireless display is right here. Now on the bottom of this, looks like it has, let me see if I could bring in some more suckers. So it seems like there is no hard drive, there is no memory in here. And I have to include my own. So you pay 1300 bucks for a bare bones, no hard drive, no nothing. They give you a slot for, like I said, an extender uh, 2.3 hard drive. And then another slot for M.2, which we're going to set up in here, which is crazy because I thought that it had, it had it in here. For some reason, it doesn't. So it's, it's unbelievable that this system doesn't even come with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the memory in here and um let's remove this slot and it's freaking funny because i thought it was in there and there it goes and now i'm supposed to grab that screw too 
and remove the other ones because it's not picking up properly. So let me remove that screw. It's crazy that this computer doesn't have any memory or any um, hard drive. And as soon as I turned it on, it was beeping just to test it out, which is stupid because I paid 1300 bucks for this machine to run. Luckily, I had what it needs. Vengeance machine DDR4 hard drive, um, 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 two of them, two um, 8x, so it's eight, eight gigs. Luckily, I had them in hand, or and then I have an extra additional hard drive in hand too, or I would have been pretty much screwed. So, doesn't come with memory, doesn't come with a hard drive. Um, I don't see the details in the system itself. Like, for example, they give you uh, the details that it has. It's an Intel i7 7700T. It has an NVIDIA Quadro card, um, three gigs, uh, no, uh, P3000, six gigs. That's a six gigs video card in here. Um, hard drive, 1X25 SATA, six gigabyte HD hard drive. It just doesn't say how much it has. It has none. <laughs> so it just tells you it's compatible with those stuff, but the it's a, it's, I think it's a jip off when they t they don't give you the details on that stuff, which is stupid because you're uh, somebody like somebody new buys the stuff and doesn't understand anything or why their system's not working. Put this in between these two because I don't want it to short or anything in here, and it's in a tough situation here. So we're just gonna leave it like that, and we're gonna plug it in, see what happens now. If it even lights up so it's unbelievable that this thing does not have the hard drive it doesn't have a hard drive or the memory luckily i have both sitting here for some reason i i always carry extra stuff but it's unbelievable that it didn't have neither and i i don't recommend this system at all no more i used to now i'm a little ticked off over the fact that there's no drive in here there's no memory in here I thought I did something wrong to it and it just completely died out. So we're gonna crank it up first time here. Now it's not beeping, of course. The sound is working. It's it, let me double click here. Now you see the drive running in the back, it came off. But this machine did not come with any hard drive, anything other than this thing coming up right now. Uh it's unbelievable, but that they sell this machine. No details, you know, somebody new that's buying this machine wouldn't understand what they're buying and off the bat, it's a brick. You know, if you go to the site, I bought this from CDW, it's 1300 bucks. The video card and the Intel are just super on top of that, but they make you buy your own memory and your own hard drive and install it yourself. That's pretty much what you got to do. All right, to remove this back end, there's a couple of screws in here that you have to take off. And let me take off my glasses here so we could go ahead and remove the some of the screws in here. I want to completely remove this sucker out of its um, casing so we could find out more what's under the hood because in reality, it doesn't give you that much options up top of it. And um, it, this is, if you just to let you know, if you remove this, this will void the warranty. So be careful, do this on your own time, on your own discretion and and be careful not to damage any of the components too. Uh, right now, like I said, it, it says um, if you remove the sticker here, uh, you're gonna avoid the warranty on it. And I'm gonna try to be delicate as possible. There we go. Move this to the side. This is a unique setup. I've never worked on something like this, but, and here's the last screw right here. We need to access it before removing the whole tower. Um, it's not easy, to be honest with you. It was very difficult because um, everything's made so not touch underneath, but I wanna, I wanna mess with everything in here. So that's what I wanna do. And there is a tape that you have to remove. And there we go. So that's the whole setup. So let's go ahead and re flip it over and show you the external part of it, internal part of it. 
um, see how it works in here. So this antenna is the, for the uh, wireless device, of course. Uh, CPU is located on this side, it, and like I said, it's seven um, i7, uh, core i7 on here. It's located in this location here. It's right underneath here. Um, it's really neat. I, I like it. It's a mini computer in here. Uh, they give you the built-in um, quadro card, the NVIDIA quadro card. Now, if you guys see, let me zoom in some more. This box is really neat. It's really set up really to uh, very, very compact in here. Um, like you see it um, built in here is the Quadro card, the NVIDIA Quadro cards with, with these huge fans in here. One's for the CPU, which is the iCore 7 in here. And the other one is gonna be for the actual uh, NVIDIA card. But you could add additional stuff in here. It doesn't have to go with the specs that you have. You could upgrade this. Uh, Intel iCore 7, It's uh, if you want to get a higher version, you could for i7. NVIDIA Quadro card is the only thing I don't recommend upgrading and it doesn't seem like it is, but everything is built in really com compact. If you guys see it, every item in here, it's, it's really unique. I've never seen something this small and this powerful and, and in my hand, it's, it's holding on a, a brick, a big old giant brick. It's pretty heavy. But for the workhorse, the, the the number that this system could run and and uh, and, and the games and the sourcing and the three dimensional programs that it could source, it could run. It's well worth it. Um, if you can see the panel right here, panel they had the VGA on the older version. It's covered up. Um, Zodiac sign. It's uh, the, the Zotac sign is in the front. Powers adapters plugged in. Um, everything seems like it's running. We're gonna put this bad boy back together But I just wanted to open it up up and see what you guys think about it So if you have any questions on how to build one of these this is not built This is a company that been making mini PCs for quite a while um, Overall, I just voided the warranty on it, but it was well worth it I wanted to see what's what's working what how compact it is and what's the secret behind all this stuff and nothing much, nothing fancy in the back, but the brains and the, the operations is all in the back too. So, and you go add additional drives, of course, and then um, this kind of just slides in there. Pretty much, this is how it goes. Slides in there, tuck it in. Uh, let me get the screw back. Find the screw in here. Like nothing. Oh, before that, prior to that, I got to make sure that I got to put this bad boy back. So, prior to that. Let me go ahead and replace. Oh shoot! It's sticky because of the the tape. And this sucker goes this way. It goes this way. This tape goes here. All right. Dropping it hard in here was actually harder than actually taking it apart. To be honest with you, uh, but it, it it all came together. I'm gonna lock it in. So before, prior to that, I'm gonna put the last screw. One of the screws that were that was loose in here put it right in the center and it's simple just find the center piece it's right there finds it this is the last piece that if you have problems taking it apart um the recommendation is take the four screws on the corner and then the center one so if you don't see it you got to make sure you you you're aware of that one so we're going to put this one back together Here's this one. This fan in is pretty simple. It's not that difficult to actually tie them in. So it's not that bad. I mean, to take it apart is easy. To put it back together, it's probably the difficult part, you know. But it's coming. A, it's coming along. There we go. Locked it in. Once it locks in, last screws. Put it back. Here you have the Z-Box. Um, so the Z-Box um, Zodak, Zodak is the QK7P3000. This model is a, it's all set up, ready to go right now. Um, I'm pretty much gonna just gonna plug it in. And, and like I said, th on this one, there's a USB type C in here, audio, USB uh, type three, 3.1, it tells you. SD, uh, SD um, memory card reader. Let's turn the sucker around. Power supply, 
two HDMI connections, two display ports, two NIC cards, antenna for the wireless device, and of course, additional USBs. But there's only two of three, type three, and uh, 3.0 and two, two of them, two, 2.0, 2.0. Of course, we opened this sucker up, really simple. The only bad thing about this is like, you gotta install your own memory, your own hard drive. Um, it, it, it's a good thing for some of the players, some of the users, but then it could be a bad thing for others. So let's go ahead and crank this up. So here it is, just to confirm right now, I installed 16 gigs of memory, eight each. Um, there is uh, 2.9 megahertz, uh, i7-7700. Um, 2.9 megahertz just to compatible and uh, just to compare with it but today we're not going to do any benchmarks i still have to install the drives and everything luckily i had a drive with an os on it and extra memory if not we would never even crank this sucker up so overall don't like it that they trick you on the site you know normally when you buy a computer you want to set it up and ready to go this computer is bare bones, you know, if they do have it in there, I didn't read it. I was just a rush order and I ended up buying something pretty much a brick. So you got to install your own memory and your own drive. Now uh, they do. I like that they give you two options for two different drives. So I do like that. So we're going to continue on doing some more tests and we're going to have it on for a week. I'm going to re images and then go ahead and reinstall everything. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit more if it's even worth it. So right now, 1300 bucks for this is what you get and we're going to see details of what else can you get behind just the 1300 bucks because on additional 1300 bucks you have to buy yourself the drive and the memory itself so that's another cost right there we're looking closer to we're pushing a little bit more than 1300 bucks it's going to go probably over 50 um 1500 bucks you know maybe 16 depends on the drives that you get you know it's a little pricey 